differential diagnosis for epigastric pain. Let's start with the Western differentiation. Epigastric pain can arise from a gastrointestinal pathology. So we have gastritis. This time there will be indigestion, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, vomiting blood, dark stools. Peptic ulcers, the epigastric pain is accompanied by fatigue, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, chest pain, vomiting blood, tarry stools. Pancreatitis, the epigastric pain, is associated with mild jaundice, nausea, vomiting, fatty stools, chills, fever, sweating, weakness, weight loss. Esophagitis or reflux, there will be epigastric or central chest pain, heartburn, difficult, painful swallowing, symptoms worse, lying flat. For cholecystitis, there is also chronic indigestion, nausea, and bulging. Gallstones, there will be cramping pain in the right upper quadrant or epigastrium, may radiate to back or right shoulder blade, fatty food aggravates, jaundice, and fever. For carcinoma, there is loss of appetite or weight, plus if it is uh, stomach, carcinoma, there is difficulty swallowing, abdominal fullness, nausea, vomiting blood, halitosis, flatulence. Esophageal carcinoma, there will be food regurgitation, aside from epigastric pain, uh, difficulty swallowing, vomiting blood, and chest pain. Esophageal pancreatic carcinoma, there will be jaundice, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, diarrhea, indigestion, clay-colored stools. Irritable bowel syndrome, there will be epigastric pain with diarrhea and or constipation, abdominal distension, flatulence. For dyspepsia, there is vague abdominal discomfort, feeling of fullness, belching, bloating, and nausea. If the epigastric pain is stemming from heart pathology, we have the referred MI, myocardial infarction. There's apparent indigestion, shortness of breath, sweating, dizziness, fainting, nausea, vomiting, anxiety. Epigastric pain stemming from lung pathology. This is referred lower lobe pneumonia. There is referred epigastric pain, cough with green yellow mucus, fever, shaking chills, sharp chest pain, shortness of breath. Other causes will include medications. Now let's go to Chinese differentiation of epigastric pain. Diagnostic questioning according to nature of pain. If it is severe or excess, a severe epigastric pain, that's excess. Severe acute colicky, that's cold. Dull epigastric pain is deficiency. Stubbing fixed epigastric pain, there is a stasis of blood. Distending or vague location, that is stagnation of chi. Burning with acid reflux, excess or deficient heat. Oppressive, damp or phlegm. Stuffy, stomach chi deficiency, or stomach heat or fire. Epigastric pain with nausea, phlegm, or damp. Full, uh, there is full epigastric pain. There is retention of food or water and damp. Intermittent related to stress, stagnation of liver chi. Epigastric pain is sudden, violent, that's cold, stagnation of food. Diagnostic questioning according to time of pain. If there is epigastric pain on waking, that is phlegm damp. Epigastric pain that occurs in the morning is deficiency. Epigastric pain occurring in the afternoon, this is stagnation of chi. Epigastric pain occurring at night is blood stasis or yin deficiency. If the epigastric pain causes you to wake up between 2 and 3 a.m., that's chi stagnation. Diagnostic questioning according to amelioration and aggravation. If the epigastric pain feels better for eating or pressure or rest, that is deficiency. If the epigastric pain gets worse for pressure or eating, that's excess. Better for warmth, that's cold. Better with slight exercise, stagnation of chi or blood. Better for vomiting, defecating or bulging, excess condition. Worse for vomiting, deficient condition. According to etiology, external evil, so that's cold or heat, 
poor diet and poor eating habits, emotional stress, anger, pensiveness, worry, prescribed drugs. Zhang Fu patterns for epigastric pain. External, that's cold invading the stomach, damp heat invading the stomach. Internal, we have excess and deficiency. For excess, we have food stagnation in the stomach, liver invading the stomach, stomach phlegm fire, stasis of blood in the stomach. Deficiency, spleen, stomach, chi, yang deficiency, stomach, yin deficiency. Thank you for your attention.